Welcome or welcome back to the Budgeting Budgie. I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed or has supported the channel either through liking or commenting as well. I really do appreciate it. On this channel I am sharing our debt-free journey so that includes weekly and monthly budgets, sinking funds and debt updates. If that sounds like something that would be interesting to you please consider subscribing. Okay, so today what we're doing is I'm going to share our budget for the 15th of December up until the 21st of December. Both my partner and I work full time. I work from home and he works as a plumber. Our combined income for this week is still the same, 2000 four hundred and ninety one dollars I have chosen to do it in this gray pen just because it will show estimated and then actual be in black and so will the plus and minuses so that's two thousand four hundred and ninety one dollars next up is our housing so this includes our mortgage and any bills attached to our house basically um everything in my budget has it is an expense or a sinking fund so everything gets rolled over each week i will link a video uh, explaining our sinking and expense funds so for our mortgage we're putting 522 into this fund our rates gets 45 dollars our water 25 home insurance 27 Electricity gets $40, gas gets $15, internet $15, and phones and subscriptions gets $45. So I'll just calculate this quickly. Comes out to $734 for housing expenses this week. So 734. For our variable, you may notice I have split up my spend and my husband's spend. The reason for that being is I am starting the 100 envelope challenge. So for now, I'll leave mine blank. Husband gets 115. Groceries, this includes household items as well, 150. Babies is, um, I'm currently pregnant, so any hospital or doctor's appointments or vitamins, things like that. Plus we have a fur baby as well. So combined they get $58 a week. Petrol or gas fuel, that is $40 a week. I didn't fill up this week. However, next week I'm wanting to fill up completely. It's doing my head in a little bit, having the petrol meter at half or quarter of a tank and such, and just doing, um, say last week I did a $40 top up. And I just want to get it full. Transport, 82. So this is a family member who um, uses our tolls account. So they'll pay us back at the end of every month. And then patrol is $80. So that's a Nissan patrol that we have, a 1999 model, where we're replacing the battery and getting a new key for that. So that's $80. I will continue funding this beyond December just because we do think that there will be a lot of maintenance costs in order for us to sell this. So what I'll do now is just leave this total blank until I figure out um, the 100 envelope challenge. Next up are our debt payments. So gifts, we overspent on our gifts category throughout 2022. So that's at a negative of around um, 1600 or so dollars. Renovation loan is a loan that we have with our family member. So no interest charge there, however, we have agreed to pay them a minimum of $1,500 a month. Bank West is a credit card that we got for a family member and that needs $500 a month in order to service it so that we don't get any charges or late payments or anything like that. Tucson is our new family car that requires, I think it's $475 a month. So we put money aside to pay that when that falls due to. So for gifts, we do $50. The renovation loan gets its standard $450 this week. Bank West will get its standard $125 and the Tucson will get $120. So I'll just add these up. 
an extra, sorry, zero for this week. $745 going towards debt this week. $745. Next up is savings. So for emergency, we're not putting anything into that. That's just to remind us that, hey, we need to replenish it after we purchase our Tucson. So what I'm going to do now is actually draw the numbers for the 100 envelope challenge because I do get an extra $50 in here as well as $115 up here each week. If I need a pull from here, I prefer to do it before I actually write the numbers in. So let's go ahead and do that part. So here is my 100 envelope challenge. So this is my little sheet that I created that has um, nappies or diapers instead of envelopes. And then this will be my tracking log as well. And once again, I do want to shout out Katie from Katie of the House, who has executed this flawlessly. So I hope I do do this justice. I'll leave her channel linked in the cards as well as below. So please go check her out and show her some support too. For next week, please submit uh, the number envelope you wish for me to stuff. So that will be for week four's budget. I will generate randomly two comments from this video below and stuff those envelopes. If I don't get two comments with numbers and say if I only get one or none, I will be using the random generator that I'm using today. Okay, so I'll just grab out my iPad and we'll get a number generated, shall we? So here we want maximum value 100. And then here where it says exclude numbers, we don't have any numbers we want to exclude yet. Oh, sorry, I might just have to zoom you in. Okay, hopefully you can see that 100. Then we'll go generate random numbers. So 47. So number 47 or $47 will be our first one. So today's date is actually the 14th of December. And we write our dates differently here in Australia. So we go at day, month, and then year. So I'll do envelope one, $47. This is so exciting. Okay, and now, oops, sugar. And hopefully I keep this in frame as I do this. Okay, let's do the next one. So, okay, maybe we need to put 47, 47 in here now. Generate. And 87, wow. Okay, so they're both quite large numbers. Lucky I didn't fill in the sinking fund yet. Sorry if that jumped you a little bit. So envelope number two will be 87. Let's just calculate that quickly. I can't do the math that quick in my head. So we'll do 47 plus 87 equals $134. So that will be our first stuffing. That will happen at Week three, budget closeout. You'll see me color in the nappies or the diapers. So what I'll do for now is I'll just write here so that I don't forget. And I'm just going to do that in gray lead, $134. So $134. Okay, so let's get back to the budget now. Okay, so here we are back at our budget. So from my spend, it will be $0.00. So it was 134 minus 115 equals $19. So I need to take $19 out of my $50 from here. So basically what we would usually stuff is 372. However, because I'm getting $19 less, that will be $353 with the 100 baby challenge getting, <laughs> with the 100 envelope challenge getting $134, wow. So I do need to note that down. Basically what that means is I won't have um, any spending money this week and I will only be getting $31 towards my savings. However, I do, as we do roll over every week, I do still have money in my sinking fund in my own expense fund, sorry, in order to spend if I want to buy anything. Okay, so now let's go ahead and calculate these totals, shall we? So 115 plus 
plus 525 and then we'll calculate our savings to 353 plus 134 $487 so excited to see my maternity leave sinking fund go up that to me is just oh, so good okay so housing 734 variable $525 debt 745 and then savings 487 now let's all plead that my math is correct here and this will come out as balanced and that's a 2491 minus 735 minus 745 please say that is perfect awesome that's what we like to see so that's completely balanced so i'm just going to pop a line down here so this is our budget for 15th of December to the 21st of December. I'm so excited to be starting this 100 envelope challenge because I was racking my mind on how I was going to save for um, unpaid maternity leave to supplement my income. And I was just like, I couldn't really figure out a way because our budget is quite full already. Like there's not really any spare money. Everything has a job. I was just like, you know what, bam. I actually get quite a lot of spending money each week. And just to let you know, I do have $102 in this sinking fund still. That's fine. So I'm completely content with that. And what I might actually do, sorry to be cheeky, is I might take it from here and still stuff my $50 um, for my personal savings just because I do want to see that grow. So I might just take the extra funds, uh, the extra $31 from here. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to leave your envelope number down below. I do apologize if this has now made these videos a little bit longer. However, that's why I wanted to post the 100 envelope challenge. I keep going to call it a 100 baby challenge, which is a Sims 4 thing. And I just can't seem to shake it. Yep. Make sure that you comment down below the envelope number you wish for me to open next week during my week four budget. And when I do my week three budget closeout, you will see me colour in this bad boy with the numbers that we picked today. Colouring in number 47 and number 87. Please be kind and please don't just all choose 100. <laughs> However, please be... Um, Please don't hold back either. It will be fun and I do want to get to the $5,000 savings goal in order to supplement my income whilst on unpaid leave. All right, well, thank you very much again. Sorry for that last second ramble. I love you all. Thank you all for supporting me. I really do appreciate it and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.